Here's who stood out on day two of 49ers training camp. Keep in mind, neither Trent Williams nor Brandon Ayuk showed up. The good Nick Bosa. He recorded at least three sacks, one against Colton Kivitz and two against Jalen Moore. More on him in a minute. Without Trent Williams on the field, the 49ers simply cannot block Bosa, who can wreck any play whenever he wants. Defensive end, Yatur Gross Matos. He started at D-end and did a great job stuffing the run to his side, especially when he faced Jalen Moore. Gross Matos' best play was a five-yard tackle for loss on a Jordan Mason run to his side. Tight end, Eric Sobert. He caught a pass from Brock Purdy that tipped off the Amador Lenore's hands. He nearly intercepted it. Give Sobert credit for hauling in that throw and give Purdy credit for having incredible luck when he throws the ball directly at a defensive back and still completes his pass. He did the same thing in the NFC Championship game against the Lions. It's a skill. Tight end, Braden Willis. He caught a 20 yard pass from Brock Purdy while running up the right seam against the first team defense. Of all the backup tight ends, Willis clearly is the most dynamic one. Wide receiver Debo Samuel. He led all 49ers with five catches during team drills. He even managed to beat Isaac Yadam, which he couldn't do yesterday. But Samuel still couldn't beat Traverius Ward one-on-one. -on -one. That's an extremely tough matchup for Samuel. At this stage of his career, he can't beat true number one receivers, but he can run through them when he has the ball in his hands. Wide receiver Danny Gray. He's the only wide receiver other than Debo Samuel and Jawan Jennings who has caught more than one pass from Purdy in camp so far. Gray caught two passes from Purdy yesterday, and today Gray caught one, a 15-yard catch over the middle. We know Gray is a deep threat, but if he can catch the pass over the middle as well, he'll make the team. He has been much more impressive early on than Ronnie Bell. He has been much more impressive so far than Ronnie Bell. Cornerback Darrell Luter Jr. He intercepted an underthrown deep pass from Joshua Dobbs that was intended for Jawan Jennings. To be fair, Jennings had a step on Luter, which is troubling because Jennings isn't fast. But the pass had to be perfect and it wasn't, and so Luter made a leaping, twisting interception. Great catch. Strong safety Malik Mustafa. He nearly intercepted a pass from Brandon Allen that was intended for Jawan Jennings. Allen scrambled out of the pocket to his left and spotted Jennings, who was open. Unfortunately for Allen, Mustafa spotted him eyeing Jennings and jumped the route. Mustafa has made one big play in both practices so far. He's the most impressive rookie safety I've ever seen in camp. Jair Brown is in his second year and he still hasn't made any plays. The entire run defense. Yesterday, it was awful. The effort in particular was terrible. Today, the effort was outstanding, and so the Niners were able to shut down Christian McCaffrey in his first practice of the offseason. The not so good, Jalen Moore. He's the starting left tackle while Trent Williams holds out, and he's just terrible. He can't block anyone. He gets pushed around on runs and passes. It's astounding that he's still on the team and that the Niners haven't even attempted to draft a better backup left tackle the past few years, but they literally haven't taken a tackle since they drafted more in round five of the 2021 draft. Remarkable. Defensive end Leonard Floyd. He didn't participate in team drills on the second day of camp. Either he injured himself during warmups or he had the day off because he's almost 32. Either way, not great. Wide receiver, Jacob Cowan. He muffed a punt for the second day in a row and got chewed out afterward by Kyle Shanahan. Meanwhile, Ronnie Bell and Trent Taylor haven't dropped any punts. Strong safety, George Odom. He gave up the 20 yard catch to Braden Willis while filling in for Talanoa Funga at strong safety. Odom isn't a good safety. He's on the team because he plays special teams. Mustafa is a much better safety than Odom right now. Quarterback, Joshua Dobbs. My goodness, he's awful. He might be the smartest quarterback in the NFL, but he can't throw a strike. His accuracy is abysmal. Today, he threw a 10-yard pass five yards behind his intended target who was right in front of him. In addition, Dobbs got intercepted because he underthrew a deep pass for the second day in a row. Time to play Tanner Mordecai. Kickoff preparation. There are lots of new rules regarding kickoffs this season, and the Niners still haven't spent one minute practicing that play. 
They practice punt returns and punt coverage every day, but not kickoffs. Strange.